This is a level three armor plate from LA Police Gear. Here we go. Since we are shooting incendiary rounds at this guy today, we are taking the necessary precautions to make sure that we're doing so safely. We've got fire extinguishers. I got another fire extinguisher under the seat as well. And it's a wet day. It's a rainy, wet day. So that works out. Let's have some fun. This is NIJ3 tested. Construction material is ceramic uh, alumina and PE fibers. It does have the spalling material on the front right here to, to prevent that splatter. When something stops a high velocity projectile from a rifle, 5.56, um, 7.62, those tend to fragment. And then of course, when you're wearing this on your chest, where do those fragments go? up under your chin, you know, and your arms, stuff like that. So this material is supposed to try to prevent that. Now I do know with this type of armor, when it penetrates, it's actually gonna get, it's gonna go into the armor typically. It's not gonna bounce off like it would with a steel plate. It's gonna go in and it's gonna absorb a lot of that with the ceramic and PE uh, fibers in there. We're gonna test this armor with a 308, 556 green tip 556 and 7.62 by 39 this is what the plate looks like you can see the thickness it's a little thicker than your typical steel plate but because it's not steel and then um, it is contoured it feels like it's well made you know what's the best thing about this armor and assuming it holds up to the test which i hope it does this is only like 115 bucks, which is insane for a level three plate. And they have level four plates that are about the same price too, which is just crazy. I mean, that's really cheap for a rifle rated plate. Let's see if it actually meets its ratings and if it stops the rifle rounds that it's intended to stop. Let's do it. Right, so the first thing we're gonna hit the target with, 5.56 five, green tip out of my AR-15 with an 18 inch barrel. So one hit, that's, that's all. Going right for the center. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so you can see the bullet impact. There's not a lot of deformation on the back, which is good. See right here, um, wow, that is very dense material. But yeah, this ate that green tip right up. Let's go to the next round. It survived the green tip 5.56. What we're gonna hit it with next, this is a tactical toolbox, a John's 308, his AR-10. One round, this is your standard full metal jacket 308 round. I'm gonna try to get it a little more to the right, just so we're not punching the same hole here. I hit it. Let's check it out. Well, it definitely stopped it. We got a pretty heavy deformation. This would have broken some ribs, I think. That's, and that's, that's hard too. So the front, you can see where it goes in. You can see that ceramic right on the side there. And then it's all fibers inside. But yes, it did stop a 308, which is impressive because that is one hell of a bulge right there. So let's uh, hit it with the 5.56 full metal jacket and then we're gonna light it up with the AK-47 on 7.62 by 39. The 5.56 green tip stopped it. We fired it with a 308 full metal jacket, stopped it. So we're gonna shoot something nice and light and fast again. So now we're gonna hit it with three rounds of 5.56 full metal jackets and then see how it does. Let's shoot it. Three rounds. It'll probably go in the same hole. So that's what she said.
check it out. Oh, and we did. Is this actually? So even though we have uh, torn fabric in the back, we actually don't have any penetration. That plastic in the back is actually still intact. So it stopped an additional three rounds. And the only reason is because we hit it in the same hole. So this thing is eating everything up. One round of green tip, three rounds of full metal jacket, and then of course, uh, one round of 308. Let's hit it with some uh, 7.62 by 39. The 7.62 by 39, full metal jacket. Let's do it. Let's see if we get any penetration. Uh, I, I swear, there's like pieces of fiber that came back. All right, reset. This is a Riley Defense AK-47, uh, classic laminate, 7.62 by 39. It's a nice rifle. I like this a lot. Isn't John such a good dude? Look, he's doing all this for me. Okay. If it falls down, we're not gonna do any more 7.62. We're gonna jump onto the 50 BMG, but let's do this. Well, I guess that's it for 7.62. It fell down. It fell down. Right. Okay. We have no new penetrations. Nothing has gone through yet. Not even this little five five sticks bulging right here. I believe the 762 was this hole down here, if I remember. Here's a piece of ceramic, by the way. This is what it looks like inside. It's full of these like plates like that. It's like a fiber ceramic stuff. Okay, 50 BMG, what do you guys think? Okay, 50 BMG, I'm shooting silver tip. This is armor piercing. Can you see that? Silver tip. This is armor piercing incendiary. This will go through the target, but I always destroy my targets. Sorry, we're running out of camera battery, so we're a little rushed. Here we go. See a little fireball? That's kind of cool. Isn't that fireball awesome? Okay. I'm gonna hit like the bottom of it just to make sure it's, it's not coming back. Here we go. All right, let's check it out. Yeah. So there you go, the only penetration for this level three armor with what we brought out is for a 50 BMG armor piercing incendiary, which is just insane to hit this thing with anyways. But even with that 50 BMG armor piercing incendiary, it held together, which is amazing. That's impressive, extremely impressive. So 115 bucks and you have true level three armor. That's really cool. Well, here are the results. So here are all the impact points on the armor plate. You've got kind of a mix going on, of course, and then you have your 50 BMG impact, which looks like it's right here in the middle. Like right there in the middle, you, this is where the 50 BMG hit. pretty much fit my finger through it. And that's your 50 BMG exit right there. So 
when I shot it with the um, 5.56, it did the three consecutive shots. I thought it might have penetrated. When I looked at it a little closer, I found out it had not. So I kind of peeled a little bit of this back broken up or um, let something through, but this is pretty in behind. I'm guessing tear happened over here because it's backed up against some logs and I don't know exactly. This also isn't like the point of a bulge right there. So it's kind of just like in the middle of a bulge that's right here. So either way, I don't know. I don't believe this penetrated because I don't see any actual holes in it. Level three. Yes, absolutely. This thing held up perfectly. This is the level three armor plate from LA police gear and it's only like 115 bucks. So for truly ceramic armor pad, that ate up everything I threw at it, minus the 50 BMG, because I bring that rifle out for armor test because I like to destroy the armor completely, and it's still really satisfying watch a 50 BMG tear through armor, regardless of what it's actually rated for. LA Police Gear Armor passed the test. It withstood everything, so it's good stuff, especially for 115 bucks. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Mr. Big Kid Channel. We love guns, we love barbecue, we love all things fun. Well, all things that turn us into big kids. So anyways, have a good one, everybody, and I will catch you all later. See ya.